Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see how exactly we can use React Lotte library to have animated icons in our React.js project. Okay. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing so you won't miss any future content. Now let's start the video. Yes. So you can, as you can see on my screen, this is the library name Lotte React, uh, which we can use for animated icons. Okay, and you can see here uh, this like how exactly uh, we are using. They are saying here, but let's see how, where exactly we can find the icons first. Okay, so they have their website uh, called LotteFiles.com. Okay, there you have to go and you have to create a website. Like you have to log in first. Basically, uh, it's a free account. You can sign in with your Gmail account. I also did here. And now you, what we can do is here we, here we can search it. Okay. So let's say I need phone icon. Okay. So I'll say search phone and you can see it will provide us few icons. Okay. It's just loading now. And once it is loaded, you can see uh, these are the icons we are getting. So let's say I will choose this icon. I'll click here. So it will open like this and we can download from here. Or if you want to change the color, you can change it from the bottom. Okay. You can give your palette and you can change according to that. Okay. So let's say let's click download and let's see how exactly this will going to download. Okay. And it open into the new tab. And basically we have to download in a JSON format. Okay. I'll tell you why because it support JSON only. I'll say I'm a developer and update. That's fine. So where is the download here? Here is the download. I click download. And here we can see down lotte JSON. Okay. You can see the other things are also there, but let's go for only lotte JSON for now download and download into JSON. Okay. So now once it is downloaded, right, just rename it and keep it in your uh, project folder. Okay. So I'll say here what I'll do here is just close this and inside the component lib, you can see here, I'll put the file here. Okay. Yes. So you can see I have uh, kept our uh, phone icon here. I have renamed it as well. You can see here. So let me create one file here uh, saying lotte icons.js and here inside there we are going to check how exactly we can use lotte icons. Okay. Before that we have to install it. So I'll just copy this command. Let me come back here. Let's open a new terminal. Let's paste this. Okay. And let's run. So till the time it is installing, I'll just import this in the app.js here. Okay. Just comment on the react tilde, which we saw in the last video. And here I'll say lotte icon. Okay. And you can see it's installed. Let me close this and let's go back to the NPM website and see how exactly we have to use it. Okay. So in the usage, you can see what it's saying first is let's import it. Okay. First we have to import the react lotte. So let's import, let's go back and let's import it. Here I've imported. Okay. The next thing we have to import our uh, icon basically. Okay. This is a JSON. As I said, it's a JSON icon. You can see here phone icon and it is a JSON only here. Okay. So let's import that first. I'll say import phone icon from dot slash phone icon JSON. Okay. That's it. Now the other last thing we have to do is we have to just use it. Okay. And you see. Uh, how exactly we are using it here. Okay. So you can see they are having use lotte. No, not this here. You are, they are using this and in the animation data, they are just providing the, this JSON and they are saying loop true. Okay. So let's see how we can do that. Okay. Lotte the self closing one and animation data. I'll say phone icon and loop true will do. Okay. Because we want the continuous animation. That's the reason we are saying loop through. And you see, this is how it's coming. So we have to manage the width and height for this. So let's see how exactly it is showing inside our this thing. Like, is it a SVG or what? I just want to check. And we can see this is a SVG. So what we can do is for this, we can give a class name here. I'll say container. And for this container, you can go and uh, ch like change the width or image or let's see if we can do it from here only. So let's say 200. 
and it's not changing it so better we can use css only okay so let's import uh, let's create first lot a dot css and here uh, first i'll do import dot slash and this and for container with the container i'll change the svg okay svg and i'll say width as 100 pixel for now let's see and it's not changing we have to see why it's not changing it uh, uh, actually i missed one thing here uh, we can't directly target it what we have to do is for this div only we have to maintain the width and height okay then it will uh, change the width okay so let's say width as 200 pixel and i'll say height as well 200 pixel okay if i go back we can see this is how it's coming okay so there are a lot of animation icons you can find here okay so let's say email and we can see email uh, icons will come here okay you can see there are many icons and you see this is a very good animation you can see so you can just click here and download and download into json and put it in your folder wherever you want and import with a la uh, like this and use the latte to uh, import like this and use it okay in your application so this is how you can do and if you don't want the animation to be continuously there you can make it false and the animation will stop at once okay once it will do and it stop okay so it's up to use and you can check the react library like this one and they will have documentation where you can find there are so many things which you can use from the react lotte or the lotte react library okay yes so this is how we can use react lotte library to uh, install or have animated icons in your project okay so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please consider subscribing and give it a like i'll be back with more content in the next video thank you